Well, speaking of details and also making sure that we all have a smile on our faces, we're talking 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela. Now, this is a movement that seeks people from all walks of life getting involved. So crocheting blankets and knitting and making sure that they are giving back. Another initiative that uh, through all of this, we can see Nelson Mandela still touching people's lives here in South Africa. Well, we were fortunate enough to attend the Zondavata Correctional Center, uh, where even the inmates took up their knitting needles and got involved. 67 Blankets for Mandela Day began as a small project and has grown into a national movement where young and old have taken up their knitting needles to create blankets for those less fortunate. The purpose of 67 Blankets for Nelson Mandela Day is to make blankets with our own two hands for Nelson Mandela. Madiba did say it is now in your hands and we have taken it to heart. It is literally in our hands. With every stitch that we make, we're keeping Madiba's legacy alive. The knitting revolution caught the attention of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, who have since partnered with 67 Blankets to help further their cause. We have a very great partnership with the Nelson Mandela Foundation. We've become really the knitting revolution for Madiba, and they've commended us, they've written us letters saying that we were the first initiative under the Nelson Mandela Day umbrella to respond to the immediate needs of the people. Little did we know that it will start with just 67 Blankets, and it ended up being a project that's now building social cohesion. Everybody's involved from young people to grannies to prisoners. So all of us are saying it is possible to build a country of our dreams. You can be a Nelson Mandela in your community. You can touch lives in your community and make it possible for someone to wake up happy. At Sonderwater Correctional Center, inmates have already donated over 700 blankets to the 67 Blankets for Mandela cause. Programs uh, of this nature are necessary more especially for maximum correctional facilities because these guys stay here for a very, very long time. So it makes them to refine themselves and uh, so that they can prepare themselves for the world outside. For institutions like prisons, it sort of brings about, you know, the spirit of uh, reintegration into the society and sort of have a sense of belonging and, you know, it brings about people together and somehow people who have came with some negative minds, it sort of changed their attitudes to be positive. Because of its proven positive effect, Correctional Services is working with 67 blankets to get more inmates knitting around the country. There is so-called gangsterism in prison and things like those. So once you do something that is objective as this, what we are doing now, you sort of refrain from stuff like this and those things. So it's really rehabilitative. They took it as a challenge. They, they know they've put it all out. Hence you see the number of blankets they've knitted. One could see that they did it from the bottom of their hearts. When prisoners talk about knitting together their broken lives, knitting together broken trusts, with this project, they are finding their humanity again. It makes me want to do even more. Stitch by stitch, these blankets are keeping the less fortunate warm and knitting South Africans closer together.